Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the clipboard in Expo React native apps to copy and paste text. So first up I'll just create my project. I'm choosing the blank template. And then I'll change into that directory and install the Expo clipboard package. So this is commonly quite useful if you've got like bank accounts in an app because um, it means that users or a, in a text field that's not very easy to highlight. Um, it just means that users can um, copy and paste text without having to try and click on it, highlight it, etc. So you'll want to import the clipboard from Expo um, Clipboard. I'm going to add a button because I want to be able to copy when I use the button and also paste when I use the button into a text field. So I also want a text input that I can copy and paste into, copy text from, and I'll show you that it doesn't interfere. It can get the what's on the clipboard can get overwritten if you copy from something else. Basically that it all works as expected. So here's my fake bank account. I don't even think it's a proper bank account format, but we'll roll with it for now. And then I'm going to want a button to copy that. So I'm going to want to define a function that um, copies text. I'm, I'm making a more generic function. So if you have multiple fields, you could copy any field that you sort of pass through. Um, so that's why I'm now setting up bank account as a constant so that I can refer to it from my function. Now replace that there. I'll pass that um, bank account variable because that's the text I want to copy in this case. So it's just because I haven't finished defining my copy text function, um, so I'll do that now. So when you copy something, you'll want to set the string on the clipboard, which basically means that when you paste, it will give you that string. So now I'm going to want to set up a text input that I can paste into and show you that my um, clipboard set string is actually working. So I'll do that now. So I'm going to want to set up um, a state in this um, in this app.js um, that's so that I can have the text input change when the text changes so I'll define what I want my value of my text input to be which is input value and I want a function that will set that input value on change I'll just set that to an empty string for now. So yeah, when the text changes, I'll call that set input value and set it to whatever has been entered in the text input. Cool.
I also want to show you guys how to um, do the paste on button clicks. So I'm just going to um, show you how to use the text, but the text, um, the clipboard to get the text that you've um, got on the clipboard. So I'm creating a fun. Uh, I'm going to create a function set input to copy text. And basically, what that will do is it will get the text from the clipboard. And once it's got that text, it's going to set the input value to that text. So it's basically doing a manual paste on button press into our text input. So I think all that code should be all right. So I think now I can go and show you how it works in the app. So I'll start up my app. Okay, so... Uh, what the issue here is, is that I haven't put async in my function. So because I'm calling a wait, I need to put async in there. So I'll go and make that fix now. So if I just make this async, then it should work. It shows you can make just a small sort of mistake and it's just not going to work. So I can understand how hard it is starting out. Cool, so now my app's loaded. Um, if I go into my text field, you can see it's there. I can copy the bank account and um, set the input value. If I copy and then um, set input value, then you can see that it's coming up as whatever I've um, set. So yeah, that's a good demo of how it works. You can change things in the input value input and it will still work. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. All my code will be on GitHub. And if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.